Hey guys, I just wanted to get on for a moment and just talk to you guys about an opportunity we got coming up. So we're gonna be doing a lot on Instagram come next week. Uh, we will of course be posting on Facebook and so on and so forth, but we are meeting a master at Instagram next week. We're gonna be doing a collab project um, uh, this next Monday. So we're gonna be releasing stuff as fast as we can. We're gonna be going out, we got the opportunity, a uh, lucky opportunity to go build a water feature um, with Noelle Jet, and she runs a, uh, an Instagram page that is all about farmhouse, modern farm housing. What's cool is they're a family. They actually do restorations as a business. And so they, they design, they build, and they decorate modern farmhouses. So they wanna add something that they aren't pros at, which is a water feature to their backyard. So, um, and in coincidence, we get to work with the absolute pros, Greg Wittstock and Ed Ballou. They're gonna be coming down from Chicago. It is gonna be an amazing project next week. So uh, it's gonna be kind of fun and there's a tight deadline. So um, just stay tuned, lots coming. Exactly, like but you that. still have the views right. Right. going past it, but we just want to try to this tighten that up a little bit. You want a little bit, create a little bit of an intimate space, sure. you know, where you could sit, you could have a drink, you could relax, have coffee in the morning, drink in the evening time, the kids could hang out here, but it'll kind of enclose the space a little bit. All right, let's spray paint. Been here since what seven something this morning, Sean? Where you been? Okay. You used to sleep in? Done at the office, man. You've been, you've been sleeping office, in? Office life. Oh, that's right. Your operations manager this week. Have fun with that. Office life. Hey, this is a rare occasion. Go ahead and uh, get Jason on camera working. All right, guys, here we are today at the Jet Set Farmhouse. And so we are at the home of Jet Set Farmhouse. So Daniel and Noel, and we are cranking. So it is currently what, John, only nine o'clock in the morning. And check out what we've got done. So we actually have. The whole entire pond, three quarters of the way dug. We've got the biofall set. That's gonna be our start of our waterfall unit. We'll talk about that later. You'll catch plenty of time with Ed the Professor. He's the man. Um, he is the man when it comes to pond. Uh, we've got our skimmer almost ready set. Plumbing is all but close to being buried. We are cranking, it's only nine o'clock. And we have to, because these guys are flying out at 4.30 today. So, catch you later.
right, guys, it's only past 9.30. We got the superstars out here. We got Noel. Say hey, Noel. The, the superstar. The superstar, <laughs> co-superstar Greg. Um, and then Ed. And then Ed, we've already introduced Ed. Yeah, yeah, Ed yeah. was the main show today, honestly. But we got lifelong relationship here with Noel. Yes. Of course, ever long life relationship with this guy. <laughs> so well, um, I'm enjoying my art. Look at this beautiful stunt that you guys brought in, and every water feature is unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation, and you're gonna absolutely love living the aquascape lifestyle. End of the day, right, Jason? End of the day. We'll I can't be done. Wait. Yep. Can There's that log. <laughs> See ya. Happy as a lark, aren't you? Yeah, look at his mushy. <laughs> He's happy. Oh, man. This you is like his on? life out here. Yeah, exactly. Hey, are you That's hiring awesome. any interns, Jason? <laughs> I got one right here for you. This stuff does not stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually sandwich the liner in between layers of this. We're going to have this material on the bottom, put the rubber liner in place, put another layer more, of this material on top, of um, especially because we're going to be setting large stones. Nice. Very cool. What is this called it, again? This is a uh, geotextile underlayment fabric. What's it made so, out of? Uh, it's polypropylene. Okay. Same stuff that they use under, under highways for construction. Oh, wow. So this is like adding rebar to concrete. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. it makes a huge difference in your liner. Ember, if you don't come out. Yeah. That would not be a good thing. Hi, girls. How are you? State urn that's installed. They're working on the plumbing, so I'll finish up. Sean and Michael are working on this is gonna be a big destination spot right here. Big boulder. So they're working out framing out the skimmer. Once we get to that point, the rest of the pond's gonna come together quick. And then we start work on the water. So basically, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this finished up and then take lunch break. So I'll catch up with you after lunch. Accepting sponsorships from any major food corporations, uh, pizza joints, sandwich shops, sushi places. I'll put my uh, my sponsor me video up at the end of the week. So what's neat, and this is what makes makes a water feature unique, each one is different, is like that's a one-of-a-kind log. Right. We typically use the same types of stone, but every stone's different. Right. So every water feature is, every location is different. Yeah. So all the shapes and sizes. So each water feature we say is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom yeah. creation, but the process to build it it's remains the same. The same. So yeah. I have built this pond thousands of times, but every one is a little bit unique. And the reason that, um, we have the same system as we know where the skimmer should go. It should go opposite the biofalls. So that okay. you push the water halfway, you gotcha. pull out the rest. It recirculates under the ground. It goes here and then you put all the pieces in. And you don't have to think about the mechanics. Gotcha. And then you spend all your time on the artwork. Very you know. Nice. And you know, and then incorporating unique art features yep. like the stack slate urn. Yep. You know. Um, and having that so that, I mean, that that vertical element, I mean that is gonna almost directly lined up with your kitchen window. Okay. So Love it, love yeah, it, love it. there's nothing that will get you outside into the yard as much as a water feature because it's life. Right. It absolutely. attracts life. I mean, you'll look out here with the kids. They'll want to see what their fish are doing every day. You know. I go to Florida. It rains all the time. <laughs> every time I'm here, it rains every yeah. single time. It's unbelievable. We're water people. Right? <laughs> it's a peninsula, so we are surrounded by water. And what? We're a stone's throw from the St. Johns River right here. Yeah. The beauty of Florida. So as far as this goes, what's your favorite part so far? Uh, you know what? My favorite part, I love the overall setting. I like uh, the positioning underneath the oak trees. Right. I like the tying in of the log, and I think the urn's going to add a, a lot of drama as well. I love the stone selection. I mean, so there's a lot of different yeah. things, but I love the mixture of the nice big flat slabs like this so we could have those little peninsulas and the areas for the kids to go out and, you know, feed the fish. The new patio that's going to go in there at some point is going to look incredible. Uh, yeah, I think this is... 
it's a lot more a uh, lot more than I originally anticipated. Yeah. So once we got here and started getting flowing, and you guys brought in tons of materials, so that made a lot made things a lot easier. Yeah, <laughs> we like good looking stuff. Absolutely, so. I know you do. <laughs> Noel and Daniel Jett with Jet Set Farmhouse and we are out here today getting this absolutely amazing pond installed by Greg Whitstock with Aquascapes and Earthworks which is here in Jacksonville Florida and as you can see this pond is just absolutely stunning we have an acre and a half here on this side of the house and we wanted something to kind of draw attention more toward our home versus all of the land just getting lost so we chose to do some of these bigger rocks. Um, since I'm from Missouri, I love beautiful big rocks and I was so excited to have some of these incorporated into this pond. And if you look at our home, we actually turned the entire layout of the house so that my kitchen windows would look out over this area of our yard. So you could see these big oak trees here and now we'll be able to see this beautiful water feature. So we have really a lot of plans as far as having family out. We both have large families, so we really wanted to have this area kind of sit underneath these the canopy of the oaks here, be able to relax and maybe have a fire pit here one day. Um, just really just a time to come out here, enjoy the kids, and just enjoy the scenery. Um, these guys here uh, with, with the pond guy, uh, Ed and, and Jason with Earthworks, these guys have really been phenomenal. And Greg, absolutely, um, what a hardworking team. I mean, these guys, you don't see one second when somebody's standing around holding a shovel like I am. <laughs> uh, what a phenomenal team. We're just very excited. This is one, this is one day's work. One day's work here and the creativity that goes into it, it's phenomenal. So if you want a pond, these are the guys to come and see. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, all the kids, they love it. Build a pond and the kids will come flourishing from everywhere. Every kid loves water, so do I. So we have a total of, including myself, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight, nine, I think nine people that all do this for a living here, all on the same 11 by 16 pond. Um, this happens in there, but we're moving right along. It definitely would be this fast without everyone, so thank you. So right here in the front, it's gotta be so the roots touch. So, well, they just put some frogs in here to help eat the algae. So if you step on one, <laughs> they will come. Trust me. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure. You trained the whole team today. Great. <laughs> Sunny time. Florida. Yeah. yeah. Get your airplane. Say bye. Yeah. All right, man. It's been good. It's been yeah. good. <laughs> All right. John. Hey, take this rainy shit away from me. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs>